Hey guys, it's Sakawa Twin. In today's video, I'm gonna be going to IKEA. I am so so excited for today. Um, I absolutely love IKEA. I feel like it's such an aesthetic store. I decided to spice up this outfit and dress like Sailor Moon for today's video. I am obsessed with Kogal and Antate fashion, and I was particularly interested in this outfit that Usagi wore. Um, I feel like it's such a cute outfit. It definitely gives me very schoolgirl vibes. So I decided to use some of the items that I already own and kind of create my own outfit that is inspired by this look. I'm so happy with the way the outfit turned out. Um, I'm gonna be going to Ikea and there's gonna be lots of mirrors so I'm gonna be able to show you guys the full look. And I'll probably ask my twin sister if she can like film my outfit so you guys can get a better look. Um, so hopefully this video will be kind of aesthetic for you guys. Look at Ikea and some of the Ikea items they sell. So I'm so, so excited. Let's go ahead and head to Ikea. So we ended up arriving at Ikea quite early so we had to wait in line for it to even open. But we were able to go in and we ended up going to the first floor. Well, not the first floor. I guess technically it'd be the second floor. And um, as we got up, we got to see all the cool um, different displays of the furniture and stuff like that. Um, here I'm showing you guys my outfit. I actually asked my twin sister if she could record my outfit. Just because I wanted you guys to see the full look. I absolutely love this look. Um, I was trying to figure out certain like elements certain like clothing pieces that would work for um the um sailor moon style that i was trying to recreate and it turned out really really cute it's honestly one of my favorite outfits um i was able to put some stuff together and create this cute outfit so we got a small little basket and started shopping um as you guys can see here they have a bunch of displays this one is a bathroom um and it just kind of show you different like ways to decorate your house depending on the size if you have a small home uh, small apartment and stuff like that. I always love shopping at Ikea or at least just going because it's so aesthetic in there and you just get so many awesome ideas. I saw this really, really cute vase um, with these pretty pink flowers and since pink is my favorite color, I really wanted to film this for you guys. We got to see other rooms and it was just a lot of fun pretending that this was our home and our own little apartment. Um, but I just thought it was really, really cool to um, just check out the different items that they had. I thought this was really cute, like it was a nice sky um, and we just kind of kept on looking. Here is another better look of my outfit. I really, really like this outfit. I think it's so, so cute. Um, and then we just kept looking at different rooms. Um, this was a really cute room. Definitely gave me very, like a very um, dark academia aesthetic. I just thought it was really, really cool and it had a really nice chandelier. And the whole room was like really, really cool. I think the whole room was like painted black. So it was just a very, very cool vibe. They also had some pink napkins, which I thought were super, super cute, since I love pink. And here is me again waving to you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit a little bit more, but I was definitely very happy with this look. You guys can totally tell that I was very, very happy with the outfit. And look at these tiny little chairs. I'm still not sure what they were for, um, but they're so, so cute. And I really wanted to show them to you guys. Here is a better look of my outfit. Um, there were just a bunch of mirrors in ikea they have like this whole section dedicated to mirrors so i really wanted to show you guys my outfits let me know which is your guys's favorite um kawaii japanese style um i'm obsessed with the school uniform look which is kowal and nanchate fashion i'm just obsessed with this fashion style I saw some really, really pretty uh, fake sakura, but they were so, so cute. I kind of wanted to buy some and kind of decorate my room with them, but I didn't really know if they would work for the aesthetic, but I definitely wanted to film them for you guys so you guys can see the pretty um, sakura. This honestly made me want to go back to Japan. Um, I really, really hope I can go back to Japan in the springtime so I can see the sakura in full bloom. They also had a lot of other varieties of fake flowers, and they were all really, really pretty. They have a whole section dedicated to plants or in fake plants, so if you guys are interested in getting some fake plants, definitely get some from Ikea. They're all really, really nice. Mm -hmm. 
this was a painting it definitely reminded me of like the japanese art style um i just thought it was really really pretty um and kind of reminded me of mount fuji in the back then we have a bunch of cute clouds i thought this like little these little lamps with the cloud shape was like so so cute so i really wanted to show them to you guys Here I wanted to show you guys this really really cool pot. I love watching Korean dramas and I always see the Korean um, actors are all they're always eating ramen off of like these really cute tiny little um, pots. So I really wanted to just I was so tempted to buying one um, because it's just so cute and I just wanted to eat some ramen with these little pots. But um, yeah, I didn't end up getting it, but I just thought it was so so cute and it was just so tiny and compact and I don't know it just felt perfect for ramen. We also saw this really really cute almost felt like a picnic backpack. My sister is modeling it here for you guys um, But I just thought it was so so cute I was very tempted to buying it Because I really want to go on a like cute picnic um, But yeah, we just didn't end up getting it So this is the like warehouse in Ikea um, My mom needed to get like a larger item And they only sold it at the warehouse But I just thought it was really really cool If you guys are interested in this aesthetic You guys can take pictures there and they also sold this really, really delicious, like, chocolate cake um, at the food court in Ikea. And it was honestly really, really good. We got to eat some good food there. I was so happy that the food court was open since last time I went, it wasn't. And I was so sad, but I'm so happy it finally opened and I got to get some good food. I love the aesthetics of Ikea. I love how minimalistic it is. It's just so, so nice. After paying, we ended up seeing the kind of the food section of Ikea. So they had a variety of different chocolates, which um, looked really, really good. I was very tempted to getting some of the chocolate. They had dark chocolate, milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, uh, but they all looked really, really good. And they also had a variety of different um, candy, like different Swedish candy. Um, I believe Ikea is a Swedish brand. Um, so they had a variety of different Swedish candies and snacks and foods. Um, that just looked really, really interesting. I definitely wanted to try a couple of the snacks that they had. They also sold these really cute cookies in this sort of like heart shape. So while we were at Ikea, we got a cinnamon roll. So the thing about Ikea, because of the situation we are in the world right now, because of COVID, um, we had to take some of the food to go. So um, this is why you guys are seeing the food in my bed. Um, we got a cinnamon roll and we also got a pretzel. And I ended up eating it with the mustard and it's actually quite good. I'm not used to uh, pretzels with mustard, but, but it tasted really good. It was like this sweet mustard. So it just worked perfectly. If you guys want to do more vlogs and let me know in the comment section down below. I have so much fun doing these vlogs and taking you guys with me on my little adventures. Um, and if you guys want me to show more of my outfits in these vlogs, then let me know in the comment section down below as well. I love fashion and I love to show you guys the different outfits that I create while I go out. And maybe that'll give you guys some inspiration to kind of create your own cute outfits. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm so, so happy to see that this family is growing. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, don't forget to follow me at Kifutago on Instagram. Um, if you guys want to get some more kawaii Japanese fashion inspiration, definitely follow me there. I post quite frequently. And if you guys want to see a little bit of what I'm doing at the moment and get to know me a little bit better, then definitely follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.